Hey, good morning. Um, haven't done one of these in a while here, so I've been kind of out of it, but starting to come to a little bit. You can see I'm setting in my, let me see here, um, sitting in my bedroom here, just relaxing. Um, got my huge desk here, bed desk here, king size bed, which is awesome. Uh, but just want to touch base with everybody here, and uh, so glad to be at least getting back to somewhat normal here. and. Um, I'm going to start with number three. First and foremost, thanks to everybody. Thanks for the meal train. Thank you, Carl Richards, for setting that up. Thank you, everybody, for dropping off food, dropping off anything, always asking. Um, everyone's been awesome. Uh, Jim Griffin, Shannon Counts, um, you know, everybody, uh, Jeff Roundtree, Chris Widener, um, you know, everybody who's had food delivered. Um, you guys are awesome. So you guys and get, girls are awesome. Just thank you so much. And uh, just from the bottom of my heart, just thank you for always checking in and, and uh, thoughts and prayers. So we're getting there. It's a lot slower than I want it to be, but I'm getting there. I'm trying to stay active, at least trying to do some exercise on upper body just to stay um, somewhat sane. So that's the first thing. Thank you. Um, so going back to the, the um, number one here. So... When you give out handouts, what's happening right now with the government is that they've given out so many handouts and that are even talking about a new bill here to give out more handouts and everything else right now. So tons of jobs out there, right? So, hey, listen, and you know, if you're a single mom and you've got multiple kids and, and everything else and you're working two or three jobs and, and so forth, I get it, okay? But there's a lot of people who aren't in that situation, okay? So just give you a stat here. I'm just reading off the other screen here. The labor force participation rate was only 61.6 percent that's a 50-year low okay um, that's not good um, and and the reason for that is that people think that well I deserve more pay I deserve this and this and that you know you can always make more money by putting more hours in and, and doing certain things I mean you, there's a, many different jobs especially trade schools right now I mean I, I did a loan for somebody about a year and a half ago a kid was only just barely 20 and he's making 120 grand a year but he went to trade schools he didn't go to college I'm not saying that's the same thing for everybody but there's many different ways where you can make more money instead of just pounding your fist and say I want an extra two dollars an hour or less I'm gonna stay home and 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 not work okay so a lot of people who are gaming and taking advantage of the system right now which is sickening okay so right now we're at a 50-year low people want to participate in the economy and what's up Jay and really want to um, you know, take the bull by the horns and and really start out. And if you're starting out in a career, yeah, your income's going to be a lot lower than, than people. That's how it starts. Uh, and then eventually you start building more and more experience and building um, that track record where you can get paid more and more. Or you could be self-employed or you can get a commission job or you can do many different things. Um, but don't sit there and complain and sit at home and just collect checks when you are able to, to go to work um, and, and so forth. Okay, uh, there's many different things that, that you can do. And listen, I get it. There's people who need it, uh, who can't do that. Uh, but there's a lot of people who can, who are taking advantage of the system. Okay. And once again, we're at a 50 year low of participation rate uh, in the economy here. Okay. Uh, last thing here, gift of equity. I know I bounce around a little bit on these bullet points here. Gift of equity. What is that? Um, so we just had a contract come in. We had um, a kid buying from his uncle and they, they really didn't want to have any PMI or anything else so we ran some prelim numbers on it and we still have to get an appraisal on it and everything else but he's gonna have more than 20 percent equity inside the property that he's buying it from his uncle so the, the uncle wanted to walk away with, with about roughly about a hundred thousand dollars so let's just use that as an example so instead of doing a sales contract for a hundred thousand dollars the house is worth let's just say 150 okay so we put the contract at 150 okay and did the gift of equity of fifty thousand dollars okay actually backed it up a little bit too uh, to, to increase some seller concessions and so forth um, so what they do all you're doing is moving numbers around okay and so when the appraisal comes in the appraisal comes at 160 then we have more equity in there so we can apply more towards closing costs if needed and and so forth or increase the LTV um, difference and, and all that so if you're buying from a family member okay don't just write up the contract what the seller what the other family member wants let's look at what it could be worth right now okay and a simple way of doing that guys is, is a CMA a comparable market analysis uh, any realtor should be, should be able to rip that off for you pretty quickly 
Uh, and it kind of gives you a range. Once again, that's not the end all be all. We still have to get the appraisal. But once we know that, then we can frame the contract a certain way and use that gift of equity where it really benefits the buyer. And it's the same thing for the seller. The seller is still going to net what, what the seller is going to net. Okay, so that bottom line is not going to change. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it, it's a little confusing if you're not, you know, in the business and doing this every day. But if you've got any questions, just comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423 uh, two, six, two, nine, two, two, nine. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Everybody have a great rest of your Friday. And I'm so not looking forward to the time change. I don't know why they still do this crap. I'm just keep it the way it is more sunshine at nighttime. Everybody wants that. I know it used to be done way, way back then. And there's different reasons why that, and you know, farming and I get all that too, but you know, right now they have equipment where you have lights on and stuff. And I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert, okay? But I'm just saying. I just wish they would keep this, the time change and not fall back. But anyway, um, if you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message and uh, shoot me a text at 423-262-9229. And thanks again, everybody, for the prayers, the thoughts, helping out and doing everything. I really appreciate it. Talk to you soon.